I'm sorry, but they're gone. Oh! Hello you and welcome back. Today we are playing Mass Effect Andromeda. We had a very eventful episode the last time and we found out that the Kef are actually using and turning the Angara into Geth themselves by manipulation of their genetics. So yeah, they're trying to improve well their biology in that way. It's it's kind of messy, but it's also really reminding me of what we had in the Mass Effect trilogy, but with the Reapers using all of the species to work against us. Anyway, I don't really do this usually. Normally I do this at the end of my videos, but I noticed that about 50% of you are not subscribed. So if you could subscribe right now, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, here we go. All right, so we talked to y'all not a long ago. He was kind of distressed about what happened. What's happening? Jesus. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. Why do you wanna why do you want to check out y'all scans? There's something going on with Phoebe and Yal, and I'm not jealous at all. I'm, I'm kinda jealous. I'm gonna try and talk to Lexi. What's up, girl? Going through the readouts from the cat facility. Yeah. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Not even a sorry? Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. Really? That is intriguing because the Asari do use capabilities of other species as well, right? Hmm, anyway, see ya. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Hmm, okay. Well, we can go back to EOS, but I'm not going to. We're gonna maybe go back to the Nexus for a little while, but I definitely want to go back to Aya. Because it's time. I mean, we've done a lot for the Angara, and I feel like we deserve a little something. We deserve to go into the vault. The Mashai was not too happy with me because I ignored her request to blow up the base. But there were a lot of living Angara there. And she wasn't mad at y'all, even though he was the one who suggested it. So I feel like that was a little unfair. Really looking forward to kicking those guys in the teeth. Same. Get up there and we'll save you a place in mine. Hey, Gil. Want to talk? Been a while. Uh, would you mind taking a slight detour and dropping me back in the Milky Way? <laughs> slight detour. What's the problem? Little something I just heard about called exaltation. Oh, well, the Milky Way was not great either during the time we left, but I hope that is quite resolved now. Who knows? Sorry, you're stuck here. It changes everything. Does it though? I mean, it's bad, but I've seen it before. <laughs> I'm not as writer, but okay. Sorry, you're stuck here. Guess you should have read the fine print on the initiative brochure. Yeah, exhaustion. Or read it at all. I gotta start eating more protein and getting a full night's sleep. It'll take everything we got to get through this mess. That is a good advice, and I'm gonna eat it too because I've been feeling shitty lately. More protein, more workouts, and more full night sleeps and more rest, actually. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. I don't know, guys. I've been in such a slumber lately. Probably because I only work. <laughs> I don't do much else. I think that's that. But times are just so uncertain lately. And I'm just worried all of the time. And I'm working my ass off. Do you? You probably know the same. The world is crazy right now. It's just... I think I have like five gray hairs all of a sudden. <laughs> I have to make sure, and you have to make sure, to take care of yourself in these uncertain times. I'm hoping you're okay, because I've been feeling a lot of stress, a lot of it. And I'm just hoping that this community takes the time to take care of themselves, because I know I forget to do that a lot. I just wanted to take a moment to tell you, take a nap, take some rest, it's going to be okay. <laughs> Me speaking to myself in the mirror, I mean it, okay? I'm gonna try to do as well. So if you do it with me, that's probably gonna help me too. Let me know how you're doing in the comments, okay? Hope we're all doing okay. All right, let me go down here. I mean, I wanna be honest. I feel like I'm so in the grind with the video games and I don't really share much what is going on with my personal life because I have no personal life. I just work, but I'm just... Yeah, I want to share my feelings a little bit more again. I used to do that a lot in the beginning, I feel. And I do do that as well, still, but... Hmm. 
I just want to be open. Tell you how I'm feeling or else people are going to comment like, what's up with you today? And I want to be upfront about it. Let's see. Okay. You're working pretty hard. He's always shirtless, isn't he? All the time. He? Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Right. Side effect of giving a shit. Oh, I get that. Oh, I get that. Huh, I need to talk. Should I go? Do you want to have a talk? Can you put a shirt on, please? Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Yeah. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. Mm -hmm. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Joe. Oh boy, what did you do? I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all, can't take risks with outsiders. We're new here. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. It takes time, Liam. Maybe it is how you asked. We are outsiders. We can't represent everyone. This is really tearing you up. I want to represent everyone. But that's just not possible because I'm not an Angara. I'm not a Torian. I, I mean, they are from the Milky Way except for the Angara. But I can't represent just everyone. I, I was thinking about Shepard, how she connected everybody in the galaxy, every species, and that way, yeah, representing everyone. But it does take time, though, because we are still outsiders. And to have a form-fitted community, tightly knitted, it's, it's, it's not just going to be like that. He's very quick to jump onto things, which is a quality that I respect. But it, it, sometimes it, it, it doesn't go the way you want. I want to give him advice. I, I can listen to his feelings, but... Hmm. This is just shitty. We are outsiders. Let me go with we can't represent everyone. What do you expect? I'm not even the pathfinder for every Milky Way species, let alone the Angara. Maybe not officially, but on the ground? Hard to ignore how much we do and what's left to do. That doesn't mean anything. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something. Familiar. Well, it's not gonna Can be me. Oh god, no, don't take Did off you your pants. From the Milky Way. Um, okay, thank god. Of course I did, nothing. This is, why is the music picking up? Listen, I wanna romance anyone but you. I'm kidding. He's just very shirtless a lot, and I'm wondering why. Anyway, of course I did. One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. <laughs> I know. That's why I made arrangements. Arrangements? <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. Oh. 20th century. British. From when that matters. Oh, jeez. My whole family works here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. Really? And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. That doesn't seem feasible. That's very sweet. It's the sentiment that counts. Oh, Liam, are you not regretful of going here without your family? My gosh, to let your son go. Ah, I, I cry my ass off. I want, you know, I, I want the best for my child. And if he feels that would have been the best, I would have let them go, even though it's very hard. The thought of that, nah, that seems very sweet. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. Oh. I don't know what that means. It doesn't have to mean anything. You're a man who cares a lot. You need somebody. <laughs> you need someone, so do I. Nah, we're not gonna do that. You're a man who cares a lot. I'll go with that. I think he does. It means your family, the Angara, this team. We're all lucky you care so much. Yeah, he uh, does. I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. What? No, don't say Find that. Find the club. The screw up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. Quite a nice scene. This will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Good on you, then. 
it on you. That was a nice scene. I enjoyed that scene together. I mean, the companions are quite nice. I do really enjoy talking to my companions. It was the same in the Mass Effect trilogy. It's nice to get to know them a little bit more. To get to know your team. So, who's behind door number two? Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. That's right. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. Okay. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Yeah, I get well, it. Imagine if it was Scott. Well, Scott is in cryo still, and I don't really think much about Scott, and I'm not that close. Okay. Uh, Scott's an adult. I'd be devastated. Nah. Even if he is adult, you can still care about your brother or anybody. Even if they're adults, adult needs love too. I'd be devastated. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Yeah. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was, well, her age now. Your father left. Dead beat? I lost parents too. Hmm, must have been hard. I've lost parents. That must have been hard. You raised your sister by yourself. That can't have been easy. No. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. I get it. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. Shit. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. <laughs> Is that why you came here? To run? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. Oh, girl. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. <gasps> That's why you took the chance to come to the initiative. Oh, you're pretty far from home. I'll make sure you're fine. You're too tough for that. This is a romance option. And I kind of want to see where the romance will take me if I choose Vetra. But you're too tough for that. I don't quite like that. I don't want to not come home for one day. I mean, it, it's a compliment. I'm going to try and be romantic with her, okay? Because yeah, I still really like Vetra too. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Mm. Luck runs out on you. Doesn't have I to. I won't. Oh, I won't. That's nice. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. Oh, I bet you do. Oh, I bet you do. We I do get back too. To work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Oh, yeah, we're gonna chat later. Oh, we're gonna chat. It's the Turians, guys. The Turians get me. <sighs> Mwah, smooch. I still don't know who I'm gonna romance. Oh, I really don't know. Why can't I romance both? I mean, we still have Suvi too. I really like Suvi too. Why can't I romance everybody? Oh, it's not like that. It's not fair. No, that's gloss. I always do that. Stupid. All right, let me see. Anyone else? Anyone? I I'm in the tech lab, Pathfinder. We already talked, y'all. Are you jealous because I flirted with Vetra? Well, that's too bad. You've been flirting with Bibi. So, just say <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh. Read the mission briefs. You're very close. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely a threat. We can handle him. Nah, he's a threat. Drax is right. Drax? I keep doing that because I'm reminded of Rex. <sighs> he's definitely a threat. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. We have to be. Take him out. All we need is a plan. Exactly. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the cat do, it turns people into slaves. Jesus. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him can take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. We can try. Honestly, drop a nuke on his <laughs> head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I don't know about that, man. I couldn't leave the Angara there either in the facility. Sacrifices are inevitable. That's not my style. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. I get what you're saying. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. He's ruthless. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. Oh. 
The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. Yeah, and he keeps creating more. He wasn't expecting us. I've got my own army. He wasn't expecting us. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. I want you. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Thanks for the talk and advice, Rack. I will ponder about that. Still, sacrifices are inevitable, maybe, but I'm trying to... I'm trying to get the least amount of sacrifices when we do stop him. I'm gonna try and talk to Sam. I still have that memory trigger on Volt, because I want to talk and I want to go to the Nexus. Check out my brother! Hello! What the fuck? All right, so message from Volt, Intel on the Keth. Greetings, Pathfinder. My name is Raylis. I serve the Angarian Resistance. Some of our scouts have returned with interesting information about the Keth that I'm certain will intrigue you. I will wait for you on Volt. Please come soon. Oh, fine, motherfucker. Stress test from Callow. Hello, Ryder. Quite the rescue. The Tempest isn't intended for these kinds of operations, but she's performing splendidly. She doesn't even have armor, right? Or she doesn't even have guns? Ah. Where's Garrison calibrating? Where? Not that I encourage you risking your life for stress tests or anything. Still, well done. I spoke to the most shy when I happened past Met Bay. She left an impression, I must say. Patient, but remarkably driven. She wasn't very patient with me. I, uh, it's easy to see how she would stood the pressure of torture in that place. Sometimes I wonder what my people would do, could do, with a bit more time to be patient. Callow. That's a nice take coming from a Solarian now, isn't it? What could they have done in the past, maybe? Should be sleeping, but it's from Gil. Worked for 42 hours straight. That is not taking care of yourself, Gil. <laughs> that is not. Ship's humming. Called it quits to get a little shut eye, but I'm wide awake here. Figured I'd use the time to practice my poetry. Didn't know I'd practice poetry, neither did I. Probably because I don't, but here it goes. Oh dear God. Helios, are you healing us? <laughs> Or will we regret ever coming because the cats are forever bumming our space? Oh my god. Wait a minute, is that actually good or has the elliptical sphere of my brain falling asleep? I vote the second, but it was quite hilarious, I'll give you that. Never mind, also from Gil. You know how I'm out here searching for my, tr for me, true purpose? You definitely need sleep. Yeah, poetry ain't it. Helios, are you healing us? <laughs> Jeez, that's really cute. Thanks for listening. Enough said. Costa from Liam. Oh, thanks for listening. Enough said. You're welcome, Liam. That last talk, Pavetra. Oh, they're they're very quick. I mean, I speak to them and immediately they are gonna have things to say to me. They're gonna have to text me because I am in their minds rent free. <laughs> All right, Ryder. Thanks for listening to me. I hope I didn't come across whiny. You never come across whiny, honestly. You are very capable. Could my life have been different? Sure. Could have had a dad, a mom, a rigid upbringing and great prospects in the Turian civil service with the stiff collars and the yes sirs to get along. What I'm saying, different is not always better. I don't regret anything or what I've done to get where I am. Don't regret coming here either, Vetra. I don't regret anything either. Ah, Curious Fold Rock, Chief Lucan, Pathfinder, the rock you found is certainly something. As far as I can tell, it's a remnant of a meteoroid that passed through the scourge before falling to Volt, infusing it with a similar cha charge. The presence of Helios native metallic elements within the rock may have allowed for such a transfer. I am unsure why the Adhi reacted the way they did. I stored it in the lead line box. It unnerves me. Oh, that's reassuring. Yeah, it's the rock we found in the midst of the ice. Mail from the Angara Resistance HQ from Ephra. Words reached me that you found a pre-scourge Angarian AI and that you chose to keep it for yourself and send it to the Nexus. No, I didn't. Oh, I knew that was going to bite me in the ass. What's wrong with you? 
<laughs> Listen, he, she didn't want to talk to you anyway. Yao explained that the AI itself was hostile and wished to go with you. Regardless of your stance on free will for artificial intelligence, I would have liked to make that call myself. I get it. But she wasn't going to talk to you. And she was probably going to hurt you. Paran, she was ready to close the embassy. It's only because of your continued work against the Keth that I was able to persuade her against it. I assured her that she would be as cooperative with all the data you discovered because of it, right? Try not to be so stupid next time. Oh, whatever, Ephra. Whatever. Sure, I'll share all the data Sam is able to get out of her. That was my plan all along. Hmm, confidential vault intel. Commander do seal. Since your liberation of the labor camp on Volt, some information has come to my attention. For years, the Keth ignored our work in the frozen city of Yannick. Searching for details of our buried past didn't seem to threaten them. One day, we must have uncovered something that the Keth deemed extremely dangerous. They invaded the city, killing or enslaving our archaeological team and locked it down. Was this the AI? Intel from the labor camp seems to confirm what we have. To this point, only been crazy rumors. There may be an ancient pre-scourge AI locked in ice in the depths of the city. I already have it. This explains the prefect's swift and violent move. I have heard that the Kev shun tech like artificial intelligence, and they certainly wouldn't want us to have it. Please keep this knowledge to yourself. They would have probably destroyed the AI. Maybe I should have done that too. Is this a joke from Kesh? Um, what did you just send me? I first thought it was a joke, but no, you sent me a hostile AI. Writer! Got her all set up in cozy and tethered into Sam Node. But not before she spaced out a couple of creative supplies headed for Paromos and displaced the gravity in the Pathfinder HQ. I didn't tell Tan or the others. For now, this will be our little secret. I hope I didn't fuck this up. <laughs> oh, well, meet on, yeah, on Volts. Let me talk to Sam Adam first. Rider. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons and know not what we destroyed. Yeah. That's a fair description of Exaltation. Yeah. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it destroys it. Yeah, it I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. Oh, Sam. Hmm, okay, so she's not really talking through Sam right now. Okay, it's fine. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. For now. Hmm, to the Moshai. To Aya. Okay, we can go back, but I don't want to... I want to do that, believe me. But I want to get the memory trigger... From Volt, the only thing I want to do in Volt yet... We didn't talk to Phoebe yet, did we? Nuh-uh-uh, -uh -uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I don't really care. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here. Or should I say, trying to. Okay. Several of the crew have offered to help and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. Like you're doing to me. So thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech. But kindly, stop digging. Bye! Fine. Have your surprise. You won't regret it. Okay. Want me to ask the others to back off? No, no, I can handle it. As long as they're not looking to be besties. Yeah, you don't like besties. And I'm happy that someone with the galaxy at their fingertips can still give a girl her space. No problem. I'll give you all the space you, you want. You friend are one of a kind. <sighs> no. Is that all you care about? I'm gonna try and be more open-minded with Phoebe, but everything she says annoys me, so I'm really trying, okay? Uh, is that all you care about? Sure, we both are. I don't have to explain genetics to you, do I? Everyone <laughs> is one of a kind. Uh, yes, yes. Assuming you're not a clone. Yeah. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. All right, well... Now, if you will, Please leave me to my own devices. No problemo. I'll leave you to it. No problemo. Okay, so we can talk to her in the Nexus apartment. I am rather curious what she's working about because she wanted that ancient technology. But first, let's go. We're gonna have to talk to Sylvie too. Don't think I'll forget about you, girl. The swelling has gone down significantly and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. 
Keep me updated, and remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Swelling? Thank you, Lexi. So many rules. Are you alright? Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. Oh. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. Did you add spicy food? Did I... you... What? What? Have you ever heard of the lick test? The what? Back before scanners were portable, oh. Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. I bet. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. Did you do this? You licked something. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> you licked the rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. You silly When goose. I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Gross. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? It's hard to talk about her. Yeah, she was. She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants. They achieved so much in so little time. Yeah. Sam is an astounding achievement. Thank you. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me and then lived out their lives while I slept. Yeah, that's the thing that's just so heartbreaking to me. I mean, again, I'd be so proud, but it's so hard to leave as well. We knew what would happen. Of course they were proud. You're not alone. I'm not gonna flirt with everybody. I want to say that they were proud. But I kind of want to flirt too. I'm gonna flirt. Fuck it. I'm gonna flirt with everybody. You're not alone, girl. If you think that means you're alone, you're wrong. Thank you. You saying that means the world to me. Oh, my heart. I'll take comfort in the people I've met here. And if you ever need me, I'm here for you too. That's so sweet. Suvi is so cute. Oh, fuck, who the hell am I gonna romance? I have three candidates at least. I never had this problem. With Garrus, it was just Garrus. Gil, O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. Oh, he you this again. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil, I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. Hello, I am sympathetic to your cause, but I also feel technology is meant to be improved. I mean, Garrus didn't calibrate all of that for nothing, right? It helps. And this might help us in the end, too. Alright, galaxy map, let's see. Um, yeah. Not really a holiday destination. No. Um, but I do want to go back for just a moment because I didn't pick up the, 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 the memory trigger. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Very quickly. I, I promise, very quickly. We'll be off in a second. Okay? Approaching the LZ. Thank you, Kalo. And then we're gonna go to the Nexus and hopefully Aya. Because we have a lot of things to do. A lot of things to do. A little time, a lot of things to do. But I'm kind of over the frozen planet. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm good for the main story, but you guys told me that the memory triggers unlock great pieces of the story, or at least writer's story. So I want to get the memory triggers at least. Okay, good. We're here. We're queer. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I don't have time for your nonsense. Yeah, hazard level. Okay, let's see. I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's scan the minerals. Where is the memory trigger? Where did I get the memory trigger? Yeah, we also had that. Investigate the runes because there was a lost scout. Memory trigger right there. Let's go. We're gonna have to see if the scout is any interesting. I'm, I'm guessing for there, but we'll see, okay? Because I'm just gonna focus on most of the main and companion missions. Let's go. Oh, there's two. Is there another one here? No, that's just okay. That just goes to the tent. Are you doing okay? After that whole exaltation business? If it means what I think, how could I be doing okay? Would you be okay ever? No, 
I guess not. I'm sorry, y'all. I really am. It's that way. How do I get there, you think? I'm gonna go around. Alright. Changing positions. Oof. Oof. Do you think we'll manage? It's up there. Come on. We're close. It's here, right? Somewhere. My sensors are detecting Ket technology, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Copper. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I got it, I got it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Don't fall off the cliff now. Alright, let's grab it. I got it, guys, I got it. Alright, good. Sam, another memory trigger? One of your father's memories is now nice. accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. We will, don't worry. Okay, there's something else going on, and it's right there. I'm just gonna check it out because we're here. Investigate the ruins. It's the Lost Scout. Woo! And if it's not interesting, we're just gonna move on. Because I'm over Volt. We've been on Volt for a lot of episodes. Right, it's down here. Hey, would you look at that? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> he can take a punch, man. Alright. Pathfinder, we are approaching the Ket Weapons Depot, destroyed by the Resistance. Holy shit. Good to know. We'll search for any sign of Hana's friend. What's going on there? What is it doing? No relevant data? Are you joking? The temperature is falling. Uh oh, what's going on? What's going on? Or what was once the entrance? Here it is. Bye, loser. I'm out. It's a ruin. No one survived here. Jesus. Oh boy. Hey, I can see something over there. goes there, but this door can be opened. There's a container. Oh. What? Okay, cool. Oh. Keth the voice. Alright, that's nice. Keth the voice. Probably have to do something with the door, but... Just checking everything. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! Well, I'm out. What the hell? That was really rude. Hmm. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. It's fine, don't worry. So we saw that this door, maybe, yeah, this can be opened. I heard. You heard something? It's dead, of course. If circuitry is intact, we could power it up and gain entrance. Okay, it should be there then. Should have known. But how? Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Oh, there you go. Life support is back online. Thanks. Here we go. This should be it. Reconnected. Good. I knew something was going on here. Let's go. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. It's fine. Let's go. Open up, Cesar! Oh, I interrupted somebody. Did she survive? Who are you? Are you here to find <gasps> me? It's a kiss. Did Hana send you? Foolish girl. She never knows when to give up. Um, there's a kiss right behind you. Um, how did you survive? Hana was sure you survived the blast, but how? Couldn't outrun the explosion, so I found a reinforced wall and put up a field at the moment of impact. That's clever. Almost flashed out, but it was that or die. <laughs> and this. She's maimed. Hurt. And this. Oh, 
Jesus. That's all it says. That's all it ever says. I've burned, Aww. I've peeled, I've gouged. It won't tell me where they are. You tortured this person? Shit! It's not a person, it's Ket. They took my family. Well, I have a bit of surprise for you. They used to be on Gara, possibly. You can't torture people. You need to get your... Ah, uh, I get it. I mean, dirty measures to win the war. It's incredibly sad, but ah, I want to be this person, but I get why she did it. Ah, fuck it. I don't care what he is. Torture isn't right. Maybe he doesn't know. It must know. It must. This is my only chance. If it doesn't know, then I've lost them. I can't lose them. I have to kill them. I ha I'm sorry. I, I want to end this. I'm sorry, but they're gone. Oh! No! You have friends waiting for you. People who still care. You'll die here. That was tough! Could you? <laughs> it could have told me. I could have found them again. That's a lot! Go home, Michelle. That was a lot. Fine. I'll signal the base and inform the resistance of my position. Tough love? <laughs> that was really tough, though. Oh, shit. Was there a chance we could actually help them? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna leave you here. You know, tough love. You needed to come back to the real world. You, you're, you're, they're definitely gone now. There's no chance of rescuing them anymore. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Well, too bad, right? Too bad. Okay, so... <laughs> that was tough. We're not gonna fight the architect. I know there's a couple of things we can do. What the fuck is this? What do you mean? No. Yeah, place on vault. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move on. All right, I'm gonna go to the Tempest. Because I really, I like vault, but I am kind of over vault for now. So we're gonna move on. Go back to the Hyperion. Because I have a lot of memories that I can now see from my father. And maybe we can talk to Scott. Environment check. Temperatures are... It's fine, Sam. We're gonna go. I'm over this frozen, silly planet. Let's go. Okay, here we are. All systems green. Thank you, Callo. Let's see what we have. Yeah, right, right, right. Hmm. Return to Hannah. Gold orbit is steady. The lost ca ah, fuck that. Well, I'll do that, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'm not worried about that. Okay, we have Aya, but I want to go back to the Nexus for now, guys. Because I want to see what happened while I was gone. Because I've been gone for a long while. So, Nexus. Now we're going to go to Aya. Hopefully there's a welcome party for me. Because I deserve it. Just saying. Okay. Let's see what we have. The Nexus. Skip. Forgot about that possibility. Skip. Okay, back in business. Let's see. We're gonna go to the docking bay. Yes. We got a lot of things. Let's go. Oof. Oh, the Pathfinder is back, baby. Back in business. How cool is that? I mean, she is rather smooth. The Tempest. This reminds me a lot of the Citadel. Jeez. Makes sense if they based it on this. And we're finally back! Are you excited? I'm kinda excited. Okay, let's regroup. Let's see what we have. A violent illness related to cherry-like fruit brought back from Habitat 7 as authorities look back. Hmm. Just listening in. Settler Bradley, medical scan. Let me check out the map here. What do, what do we have? What's going on here? The Tempest. We don't need to go to the Tempest right now. Uh, meet Gil at the Vortex. We can do that, I suppose. Hmm. Shall we do that? Has challenged me to a poker game. Oh, there's a lot of things happening. And this is? Phoebe, right. All right, let's start with that. 
Wait, people are doing what in hydroponics? Sleeping dragons? If someone doesn't get them to clear out, we'll all be eating shoe leather by What's going on? Concerned citizen? I don't know about these Angara. Whoa, 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 what do you mean? Whoa, it's the Pathfinder. What do you mean about Angara? It's me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these Angara. And now they're here, on the Nexus. Isn't this what we're here for? How do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. Isn't this what we're here for? Nothing's for certain. Nah, they deserve our trust. I'm gonna try and inspire people to work together. Remember, we're the strangers. Yeah. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Yeah, you guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. You look like Will Good Porter, advice. but female. <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, well, nobody. Nobody signed up for this. Hmm, what's this? Sleeping dragons? Okay, what's going on? Seems quiet for now. Look, Jonesy. Oh no. This isn't what I signed up for either. What's My going team on? and I surveyed Eos thoroughly and even stopped the storms. What? What the, the rest is up to the outpost. What are you the old threats are gone. What are you talking about, Ryder? What the hell? Can we talk? Okay, guess not. Make them lead or make them go. What's happening? Hey, what's going on? That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. Oops. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Ah! Excuse me? Ah, wow. We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the wow. list. Wow. Like my clan, brothers. Wow. All the reassignments I get it. are in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. Listen, I had to make a choice. I didn't expect... No, we're not going to show weakness. I had to make a choice, and I felt this was the right choice. They will come out of cryo. Just be patient. I understand your frustration, and I can get people out now because I have points. Let me see what I can do. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. I get it. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. I get it. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. <laughs> well, I already have quite some options, actually. The situation's different. I'll talk to them. My word is not enough. Fuck no, I'm the pathfinder without meat or nothing. <laughs> the situation's different. What's up? I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. I'll talk with them, at least. Okay, I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Fourteen months of promises. It's time for some results. Fourteen months. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. It's resources, no, man. No. We don't have enough Start resources. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Jesus. Listen, I understand their frustration, but we don't have enough resources to wake everybody up quite yet. And I understand, but... We need to be careful about this. Speak with Candros. We can also go here. Oh, this is where Gil will be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up on this mission first, though. Oof, the decisions, the consequences of my decisions. I will get better armor and better weapons, but I'm gonna do that off camera because I feel like that's not as interesting as everything else. Okay, well, let me try and speak to Kandros. We'll go back here, don't worry. Operations. Okay, Kandros, we're in a pickle. I am in a pickle. Alright, let's see. Well, the Barfinder is back and not so much with open arms. Great. Hello, beautiful man. I'd say all that's worth a three-day pass. Secure message from intelligence. boss. Requesting armor camp footage. Mm, let me just do the strike team really quick. Yeah, waiting debrief. Nice, successful. What about you? Successful. All right, personnel. Am I ready for these fifty-five? Not quite yet. Strike team. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. 
All right, Candros, let's go. So that's what the Ked are up to, transforming people into willing slaves? Yeah. Now we know why they take so many prisoners. Well, they're sure as hell not taken anymore. That's right, I like you so much. About the stasis. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. Yeah. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Sure, that would be great. Thank you. Initiative. Protesters have seized hydroponics? Yes. They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks. Dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... Ten. We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put I know, that's what I was thinking. We're not there yet. We have outposts, you're right. What about these outposts? What about those? Then what's the point of all those outposts I've founded? Whoa! People need more than Space Rider. They need work they're trained for, and we don't have placements for those families. If I just toss them to any outpost with a spare bunk, they become a burden we can't afford. I understand, but what, what do you can suggest? we do? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. How would you move them? You're right, and the protest. Are those protesters dangerous? How would you move them? What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. Jesus! If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. Are they dangerous? Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. That's fucked up. I want to give them something to hold on to. But I understand that survival for all of us has to be priority for now. Because if we don't have resources, everyone will be screwed. I gotta be logical about this, people. I sympathize with them very much, but I don't think it's a good idea to get people willy-nilly out of stasis just like that. Because there are priorities, and we need to focus on that. This is the whole reason I picked the scientific team, because I felt like that would help us in the long run a little bit more, at least on EOS. So, I'm sorry. They were gonna have to wait. Ah. I just can't risk everybody else. I just, I can't do it. It's for the group, not just, not just only the protesters. It's for the entire group to survive. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kandros? I'll send in a team, Shit. but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. I'll go. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Oh, uh, not a director, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, my God. Ten. Ten, you're lucky your voice because for one of my favorite actors. By one of my favorite actors. You're so... Okay, I need to go down. I keep doing that. I keep doing that. Let's go. What did you do, guys? Did you end the protests? Or did you taught the people out, their families. I just feel like survival is indeed more important than sentimental value, and it sucks. But that's just the way we have to do this. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses. Yeah, that's threaten no all good. the plants. That's no good. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. That is so. I understand a protest, but you're endangering all of us. You can't win this. Listen, I am sorry, but that's not okay. Fuck. I know this is hard, but for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. Yeah. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. No. You'll break your mother's heart. That is your choice. Just stay put and wait. What if something happens and she gets out of status and you're not there? You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled? Or dead? I... Ah? Uh -huh. Reese, don't. 
Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. There you go. When our families hear about this, well, gonna have they'll to probably wait. agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. That worked out surprisingly well. I do feel bad, guys. I do really feel bad. And I love that Candros was like by my side. I'm so sad I can't romance Candros because I think I would so go for Candros. <laughs> All right, so Gil should be here. I have not been here. Have I? What? I didn't know we had this. Oh, we can party all night long. Gil should be here too for a poker game. That's There's flag, everyone. That's for drummers. Hi, Liam. What's up? Off duty. Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in. Sleep is ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. Yeah, getting Feels good, there. right? Ah, like a new beginning. Feels like luck. A new beginning. A fresh start. I feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. Yeah. There we go. Getting our shit together. <laughs> Showing the new galaxy that we have it sorted. I hope we do. If I keep saying it, it's true. I right? just put down a freaking rebellion. But sure, I hope. Dutch? What's up, Dutch? You wanna talk? Another one. What? Damn it. This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. It doesn't look to be a crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. Are you in the wrong Say that, Dutch, point? But here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. Yeah, pop Guinea finder. pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. What? Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and, and being nice. What is your problem? Gifts, horrible thing, those. Not very friendly, are you? Gifts, horrible. Bad people giving <laughs> you free things and helping you set up. So inconsiderate. Very much. Right? They keep bringing things. Tables and chairs and this bar and what is lights. Your problem? Wait, you're making fun of me, aren't you? Only a little. Don't let Dutch put you off. He's a sweetie, really. A little bit of an oddball. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'm a dirty squirrel. Squirrel, not a dirty martini. Oh my god. Okay. Well, how is it? Is it good? Did you lie? Am I drunk now? So I can have a new mission with you. What's up, Mari? Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. What's up then? Lay it on me. I mean the bar, right? So folks try and help and all, but. We have a limited pool of ingredients. Okay. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Oh, am I gonna die? So, Dutch gets ingredients and the guinea pig he wanted, huh? Oh, that's me. Exactly. I don't want to do that. Win all around. Well, not for me. What if I die? Okay, cool. Search on our vault. Oh my god, I'm not gonna do that now. Hey, we can poker with you. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. A poker player? Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? <laughs> Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. No, I'm honest. Don't. Alright. You can deal first. <laughs> I'm gonna lose! Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. That's hilarious. Is Jill a masochist? She's the one who's here. Let's talk. The one you mentioned. Uh, part of the initiative? Yep. Been awake since the start. Yeah. Jill's a fertility expert. Oh. Heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Oh, right. Repopulation is important. Well, on Earth, I'm like, eh, for the furtherment of our species. But in fish, especially in a place like Andromeda, where we're the only ones here. Is this the hurtful kind? It's just not important enough for me personally. The hurtful kind. Uh, sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? I doubt. Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. Best friends you do that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. 
Another hundred. Another hundred. Ah, I fold. Nothing. Another one for me then. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna do it honestly. Well, that's that. You win. I've achieved my true purpose in life. What will I do now? Good game. Congratulations. Good game. You two. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. What? Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another streak intact, I'll say. I was honest. I could have kicked Fun. your ass. Thanks for the game. I could have kicked his ass, but I didn't because I was nice. I didn't want to cheat. I'm not a cheater. I'm a believer. <laughs> All right. Well, that was that. Interesting. So we have a new mission for ingredients for the bar. Now that's cool. Hmm, let me see what else we can do. We can go up top. I. I think BB was there in the apartment somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. I think maybe here. Maybe? Maybe. She has a fucking apartment. I'm so jealous. So jealous. BB, is this your apartment? What's the surprise, BB? Maybe. Is this it? Hey, hello. Unlocking. Come on in. Alright, well, let's see what the fucking surprise was! Yeah, I'm out. Bye bye! <laughs> no, she reactivated it to be nice. Oh my god, she made it non hostile again? Okay. Now I'm intrigued, Bibi. What in the world is this? <laughs> Let's talk. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Sure. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. Yeah. It worked. Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. Is this safe? So, uh, what do you think? It's amazing. Could be of some value. Is it safe? It's not gonna bite me in the ass and shoot me in the back? Have Suvi and Gil look it over. If it checks out, bring it aboard and fast track the combat model. Damn. Okay. I guess I understand your skepticism. Well, what do you expect? Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. Who's coming in? My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who are you? Who's your friend? Kalinda? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant who's your remnant friend? Oh, I'm not special. None of your business, Kalinda. Ow. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Why would you just barge in into her apartment? How dare you? That is not... Who the hell even are you? Let's play nice. Hostility seems fair. Let's play nice. I might not, Phoebe might not be my girl, but she's still my girl, so she's part of my team. Play nice. No reason we can't all be civil, right? Exactly. But you are kind of trespassing, yeah. so... Yeah, yeah. Now, now, I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. Why don't I believe I'm that? I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. What the hell, girl? You're just here to say that? Go away. So, what the wanna talk about it? What the fuck? Well, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. To you, just maybe. It's like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. You're gonna go. I care about eh. <laughs> eh. this place. Not much to give up. This palace. <laughs> but how can you give all this up? <laughs> huh. Watch me. Easy come, easy go. Yeah, that's what you are. Remnant unlock. Phoebe's research has unlocked a new remnant power. The power will allow Ryder to call upon Zap, a controllable remnant observer. You can find the power on the tech skill screen. That's actually helpful. And I thank you for that, Phoebe. Thank you. That's cool. Okay, wait. I'll for pack more. up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. Sure thing. Thanks for this. I mean it. I actually mean it. Thank you. That might be really helpful. Bye! See ya! That was so odd. She just trespassed out of nowhere. How rude. 
I'm, I'm thinking she might want to do something about the remnant, people come and go, interesting. There's definitely a history there. I think Phoebe might be hurt in the past by other people, which is why she is so keen on passing and going every single time. She lives in an escape pod, for heaven's sake. She has commitment issues, and I'm wondering how that came to be. Alright, so well, let's see. We've done pretty much this. I'm gonna go to the Hyperion, I think. Yeah, this is the cultural center. We've been here. I just needed to go down, okay? And I didn't want to go back and look stupid, so... <laughs> Yo! Hey! Pathfinder. Thank you for arranging my access to the cultural center. Of course. Mm, there's so much to study here. <laughs> uh, it would take a lifetime. Mm, it'll be fun. Probably more. Probably more. There's thousands of years of history before humans even arrive on the scene. Yeah. That would be a nice full-time job. <laughs> but you've already got one. Mm. Cute. Cutie patootie. Okay, let's see. Docking area. Let me check out. Okay, not that. Um, allies and relationship. Helios assignments. The Nexus. Let's see. Fire. Yeah, that's on hold. Task. I'm just gonna go and see where it takes me. I'm just gonna check out the map every time. Chance I get. Alright, so I want to go to the Hyperion. Um, operations. Cryo Bay. Hmm, habitation deck. I'm gonna go to Cryo Bay. Let's see. Alright, and we're here. The initiative. I can see and check out my memories from my father. I um, just wanted to check this up. Not good. Damned exiles. Jesus. Um, yeah, but my brother is still not doing well. Hey, babe, what you doing? Still lying there like a sack of potatoes? I don't think we can do much here. Hmm. Okay, then off we go. Oh, just wanted to see if there was anything here. Guess not. I mean, my brother isn't out of cryo either. I'm not complaining. Protesters. <laughs> Granted, he has a couple of things going wrong with his cryopods, okay, but it's fine, it's fine. Alright, let's see. We should be able to go here. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we can speak to Sam. Let me speak to Sam first. Pathfinder, we advise the Angaran AI from Vault is now active. And mostly cooperative. Mostly. Let's see. Lida, one of your father's memories is available. Ooh, let's go. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. Oh, no. Oh. It's simple. We take Sam. Is that my mom? Him? I named the AI. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um. Mm. My work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. Yeah. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we... They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. He doesn't want to give up on it. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. And she made peace. It happens. Ellen, please. He doesn't. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't going to lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Jesus. Then give them one. Yeah, hello. They just ask for a refund. So you're not going to try? Can Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? Probably. Oh, that's sweet memory, but it's so sad. She made peace with it. That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. 
My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Yeah. She accepted it with grace and he couldn't let her go. It's a matter of life. Dad needed to hear it. I think he did, but he couldn't let go. This is the same thing that kicked him out of the Alliance. He went too far. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. No. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Thank you. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Oh, let's go. I got all the memories now. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Oh, it's caught too? Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Scott! Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you too. Oh. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? That's so sad. Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? He was focused on Sam. Mm. Well, uh, you're both looking taller. Jesus. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. <laughs> right, right, I know. Scott! So, um, <laughs> I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. Uh, I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, uh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? That's cute. Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. Explorers at heart. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. Hmm. At first, he wanted to go and check up on Sam, work on Sam, even more. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. <laughs> okay, Sam, damn. <laughs> yeah, I know, Sam. But then, hmm, he wanted to talk to his children, but he was focused on Sam and saving the mother's life instead of enjoying that his family was in the same room, right now, right here, right now. And then eventually he came around and started actually interacting with his children. It's sort of sad. He's so driven that we kind of forget to be in the moment. I definitely suffer from that because I'm always working and trying to get somewhere that I forget to look around and be in the moment. There's your answer. Yeah, life is hectic. Life is hectic, and you grow up, and you have so many things, so many responsibilities, and you forget, you forget what is important. People get busy. Scott and I were trying to start our lives. A course that seems to have been influenced by your father. Yeah, good or bad, your parents were buff on you. A form of symbiosis? <laughs> sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Oh. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless. The emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Thank you. Okay, I'll keep working on it. See ya. That's all for now. Of course. Hmm, so no mention of the AI. Hello? My liberator. Welcome. Your liberator? Okay, how's your mood, girl? You seem happier than when we first met. Less violent, anyway. I am not violent by nature, and Sam has given me absorbing calculations to complete. Good job, Sam. Do you still want to be destroyed? Yes, but less acutely than before. Jesus. Might be hope for you yet. What hopes do you have for me? That I will help you defeat the Ket, colonize worlds, eradicate the Angara? No. 
Uh, maybe <laughs> everything except that last part? Yeah. Your ambitions remain small. Oh, great. I'll think bigger then. What about the Nexus? How do you like your station? Better than Vold? Extremely. Mm. It is a pity you felt the need to shackle me. You killed someone. If you were flesh and blood, you'd be in prison. Yeah. I warned that would happen if you refused my demand. You share culpability for my actions. I didn't do anything, ma'am. I thought you were bluffing. Now you know I was not. Yet you kept me alive anyway. What about Sam? How you feel working with him? You got what you wanted, to be with Sam. How's that working out? I can hear this conversation. I know! That bother you, Sam? Of course not. My only concern is how it might influence the AI's response. I can also hear this conversation. <laughs> we can all hear each other. Doesn't change my question. I find your AI to be agreeable company. You like him? Sam? Ooh. I concur, although she still blocks full access to her person and programming. This AI remains dangerously unstable. I recommend extreme caution on all fronts. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Thanks for your time. It would seem that is all I have to give. For now. For now. I love that he speaks privately to me. Give me little updates. Thank you, Sam. Alright, so... Let's check out my dad's place here. Because there was more to be had, right? Archive. Your father's personal logs. Yeah. There should be more. Sam's development. Yeah, encrypted log 4 and 3. Did I already get 3? That log is not currently accessible. Ah. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. I thought there would be more for me. Ellen's research. The Geth mistake. Shadow Broker's deal. Ellen's research. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. Oh. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant, joined with the right type of AI, could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. And now here I am with Sam. Oh man, he did it to save her and now here we are. This is kind of tragic. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Oh. Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Mm -hmm. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. No, that's not true at all. They resented it. No, they asked a simple question. And I remember in the revolt, a lot of Geth were actually standing in front of their owners during the rebellions and trying to protect even more Orients. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that, historian. It was not. Ryder, Barlabon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. This is not Translation, Liera. I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. This, is, this doesn't sound like Liera. The moment they said as, nah. Well, maybe, if she's a good one, she changes her whole speech pattern. Interesting. Uh, that log is not yeah, currently figures. accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Thank you, that's enough for now. All right, oh, there's more audio. When studying an extinct race, 
It is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. Yeah, Liera! We must look to the evidence itself. You should have remembered the that. The constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. Ain't true. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Eh. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people. Free of conflict and strife. I love... Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Oh, she was in for a shock, wasn't she, when she met our boy? Oh, dear. I love that she first mentions, okay, we need to look at the facts and not let our own upbringing cloud the facts. And that's exactly what she does. She bases the Prothean completely on the Asari as well. She had a rough wake-up call. Poor Liera. She was so excited to meet the Protheans. <laughs> Oopsie. Alright. Anything else happening here? Let me check out the map. Motherfucker, that's so annoying. Hey, what's that? Hold on. Hops. Golding hops. Example of hops grown. Okay. Take the Milky Way hops back to the Vortrix. Okay, we'll do that, but it's not really that interesting for now. But I'm gonna go back to operations, though. See if we have anything there. And otherwise, we're gonna go to Aya. Yeah, we'll go back to the docking bay at one point. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go there anyway if I leave. So I'll just drop them off. Yay! All right, what's this? Hmm, what's that? Something is up here. What's this? Security footage. Archive system. Return to the movie library. Oh, it's a movie for Liam. Okay, sure. Let's check out the map. Anything else? I'm just gonna go up. There's not much happening still yet. Addison, concerned citizen. Pathfinder? What's up? What is it? You're out there, facing the cat. We hear only rumors making them out to be monsters. Well... Maybe they just don't understand us. Do you think peace could ever be possible? What we have learned on Volt, I highly doubt it. Anything is possible. Um, we don't much understand the Kef. Maybe if we learn why exactly they are after all of the ancient tech, why they are, they are turning so many other species into Kef themselves, maybe we can learn, maybe we can understand. It's possible, but after everything they have done also to the Angara, I doubt the Angara would be very willing to be peaceful with them. Just never say no, I guess. We don't know the future. Given time, I'd like to think there's always a chance. If you have hope, I'll have hope. Oh, God. I hope I live to see it. Thank uh, you for your time. You're welcome. I doubt it, though. I sincerely doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. I can never say never. Never say never. Hey, girl. Okay, let's see. Commence pods. I got one reward. Credit delivery. Can I do anything else? Tactics, credits, weapons. I'm gonna go with munitions. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I got six, so I'm fine. Hunting parties. Sure. Ooh, always prepared. Let's go. All right, let's go with science. There you go. Sure. Improve. Commerce. Oh, let's go with that. Love that. I got one more. Improve prices. Yes. Gray market. Hell yeah. Good. We've done that as well. I got credits delivery. Hi, bye. Let's see if we can talk to Ten. Hey, Cora. This is how all those worlds look from the Nexus. We forget how beautiful they are. Right. 
Right, I just remember Vault being very cold and Eels being very hot. I have nothing to fear from the people of the Milky Way. But do you have it? Oh, Congratulations shit. are in order. Damn it, Peaceful interrupted. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. <sighs> They're a fascinating culture. Best part of the job. They got waterfalls. <laughs> uh, we don't need more enemies. I say they're very fascinating. From what I've seen, we could spend years learning about their culture. Are you interested I'm in sure that? I'm sure you've pleased our scientists to no end. This was a rare occurrence in the Milky Way. I hope rescuing the Moshe leads to stronger ties between our people. As do I. Did you have some other business? No, that's fine. That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. Let's hope so. I want to talk to Kesh as well while we're here because I talk. Yeah, hi, Cora. Hi, Cora. Because I already talked to Kandros. And now, let's see if I can talk to Kesh. Kesh, what's up? Maybe dra I knew he would be here. Hey, Kesh, what you doing? I'm about this place if I can't find you. Then we defend the station. It's all we can do here. You just keep the Pathfinder safe and the cat busy. That's so and cute. Be careful out there. I only have one of you. They are so sweet. I adore this family. Oh my god. The extra resource. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will lighten up. Who knows? What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established. I got two now. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. As am I, because my god, she had a thing up her butt. <laughs> Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. Of course. Hey, Drag. You happy here with your granddaughter? You wanna maybe talk to me? There's a data pad. You sure look thoughtful. Just thinking about the first time Cash got her hands on a toolkit. Child genius from the get-go? Tell me everything. Care to share? I have a feeling this one will be interesting. Oh, yeah. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Let's so see, the proud. first time, yeah, it was our power generator. She took it apart <laughs> with the blood side. Oh. Wouldn't that cause shorts or something? She liked the fireworks. <laughs> you can imagine what it was like when she figured out that cracking open bigger things made even bigger sparks. Oh, he's so proud. How cute is that? Honestly. Yeah, we already read that. Let me talk to Addison. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Probably wiring. I love Cash. See, this is what I do like about Andromeda is the very interesting characters. I really do enjoy them. I think they are the better part of the game. Well, except for Addison. Maybe I can warm up for Addison. Who knows? She seems to chill. Yes, Pathfinder? She has chilled a little bit. Okay. Hmm, viability. Getting somebody at a cryo. Ooh, Spender's Allegiance. I've been digging, and there are serious concerns about Spender. Yeah! And this relates to your job as Pathfinder Hal. Oh. It relates to your job. Ooh! <sighs> Three, four, five... Oh, wow! The right. disrespect! I've had a year and a half of doing everything with nothing. A thousand people riding me. Spender, shit as he is, helps. So, Pathfinder, if you've accusations to make, be certain. I'll drop trouble like a hot rock, but I can't lose people over suspicions. We don't have the people left. Wow. One, two, three. She counted before talking to me. What the... F How disrespectful is that? And also, Kesh mentioned she didn't have shit to do because there was no outposts. Oof. Oof. How are we doing on the viability front? Aiming for success. It sounds pat, but you're living up to the job. Oh, am I? I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of cryo. Did you forget the stink that playing favorites has already caused? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Right. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Chill the fuck out, lady. Oh, I, I try and warm up to her, but she pisses me off every single time. Every single time she pisses me off. 
fuck off. Oh, I'm so mad at her. So guys, I really want to get to Aya, but unfortunately I'm a little bit out of time. So we're going to do that the next episode, but we're finally here. We checked out the Nexus. We've done a lot of things. We collected a lot of missions. We, we, we traced back a lot of missions and now I'm going to get proper guns and, and equipment because I desperately need to upgrade my guns. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna research a couple of things but I'm gonna do that off camera. And we will pick up on Aya. So if you did enjoy the video, why don't you leave a like because that really helps me out. Subscribe if you for some reason have not already and I guess I will see you in the next video of Mass Effect Andromeda. See ya.